Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kevin. Today is Friday, December 2nd, 2022, and we begin with the future King and Queen of England sitting down with President Biden in the birthplace of the American Revolution. Prince William and Princess Kate are on day three of their trip to the U.S., specifically Boston, Massachusetts, where tonight they'll focus on climate change and award $1.2 million each to five winners of their Earthshot Prize. It's an annual competition that William launched last year to recognize individuals trying to tackle global warming. Their meeting with President Biden will be this afternoon at the JFK Library, though details aren't being released. Wednesday night, the Royals surprised Celtics fans by sitting courtside for the game and chatting up local 15-year-old climate activist Ollie Peralt, who was honored at halftime by the team for positively impacting her community. It's double trouble on Hawaii's Big Island. As we reported on Tuesday, Mauna Loa, the world's largest volcano, is blowing its top for the first time in nearly 40 years. And now... It's got company. Another nearby volcano, Kilauea, is also erupting, marking the state's first side-by-side eruption since 1984. Hawaii's Emergency Management Agency says there's still no immediate threat to people living nearby, although lava seeping out of Mauna Loa is now less than four miles from a major highway, threatening a shutdown and forcing a long detour. The good news, some of the flow is slowing now that it's reached a flatter surface, The biggest concern, say local officials, are the gases being released and the mobs of onlookers crowding nearby roads to get as close as they can to the action. In other Kid News notes, Germany forward Thomas Muller is calling his nation's exit from the 2022 World Cup an absolute catastrophe. His team pulled off a win over Costa Rica yesterday. But when all was said and done, Germany's point total wasn't enough to get them out of the group stage. Japan and Spain will move on instead. Even before the final score, the Germany-Costa Rica game was making headlines and history. When 38-year-old Stephanie Frappar blew the whistle to start the game, she became the first female to ever lead an all-woman referee squad at a men's game. FIFA Referee Committee Chair is praising the milestone and hopes in the future this will no longer constitute an oddity or a news story. As for Stephanie, she told reporters she wants to be judged simply on her skills. These days, nearly everyone goes online to buy an airline ticket. But before the internet, many people just picked up the phone and called the airline directly. Now, one budget airline has cut the cord completely. Frontier Airlines will no longer provide live phone support to its customers, no matter how long you wait on hold. Company officials are spinning the cost-cutting measure as a more efficient way of doing business and say these days, most people prefer to communicate digitally and let their fingers do the talking. It's a secret soda hack that maybe should have stayed a secret. Pepsi is out with a new campaign inviting its fans to try drinking Pilk with their cookies this holiday season. For the uninitiated, Pilk is what you get when you mix Pepsi and milk, a combination the company claims is a popular beverage mashup. The recipe may sound familiar to TikTok fans, who've no doubt seen a slew of similar soda, syrup, and cream combos. Pepsi seems to be targeting its younger customers by enlisting former child star Lindsay Lohan in a Santa suit to promote the kooky concoction. Now, our Kid News Quiz, generously sponsored today by the Strongs of St. Helena, California, to wish a big happy 11th birthday to Olive. Olive, your mom, dad, Linus, and Gertrude tell us you are the raddest artist, most awesome BMX racer, not to mention a rock star of a sister and daughter. Kim, Tori, and I are so happy we get to help you get the party started. Now, today's quiz. What U.S. city are Prince William and Princess Kate visiting this week? Boston. French referee Stéphanie Frappard is the first to do what? Lead an all-women referee squad at the Men's World Cup. What do you get? When you combine Pepsi and milk. Pilk. What airline will no longer take your phone calls? Frontier. And in our Kid News Kicker, Frontier Airlines employees may not answer the phone on the ground, but they certainly know how to have fun at 35,000 feet. Passengers on a recent flight from Denver to Las Vegas reacted with surprise and delight when a couple walked up the aisle mid-flight, 
and got married by an off-duty pilot. It was all part of a pre-arranged Wedding in the Sky promotion with the city of Las Vegas, which is known as the wedding capital of the world. Thanks again to the Strong family of Santa Lina, California for sponsoring today's quiz. Another big birthday shout out to Olive and hello to her coach Donnie Robinson and his dream team for BMX. Now, to our terrific kid news teachers, starting with Miss Kutra and her Badgers at Bennington Elementary in Bennington, Nebraska. Mrs. McNall and her Rockets at Rose Hill Intermediate School in Rose Hill, Kansas. To California for Miss Valencia and her Tigers at Tipton Elementary in Tipton. Mrs. Crooker and her HR Eagles at Hart Ransom Elementary in Modesto. And Mrs. Plotkin and her Golden Bears at Cesar Chavez Elementary School in Greenfield. Thanks for listening, everyone. For those who signed up, our weekly word search is in your emails. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News Monday morning.